making Caesar's uh, food fresh because we watched a documentary recently about how they make dog foods and it's really a bunch of a bunch of lies that they tell you in in the marketing. It's all fabricated, and they really want people to believe that they're feeding their dogs healthy, natural products. But the reality is, is that um, it's not a very regulated industry, and you can get away with whatever the fuck you want. And so, a lot of these people are promoting their dog food as healthy and all this different stuff, and. It's not. They can, can call a dog food natural dog food, but you know, point zero point whatever percent of it actually actually be you know real. So what we found is that it's better to just make your dog's food. And the reality is is that they eat it. He like slams the food when we make his food. But when we don't make his food and we try and give him the kibble, he goes, you know, fuck with him. So it's just some stuff that we got. Pumpkin's always great for your dog or cat's diet. It helps with digestion. Rice. You know, a lot of, that's another thing with these dog foods, they'll say like, oh, you know, grain free, you know, no rice, whatever, whatever. That's because they're using, you know, fillers and byproducts and all this other stuff. So you, yeah, we don't want that shit in there, but some regular rice is fine for your dogs. It's part of their bland diet. Sweet potatoes, just, you know, a little, you feel me? Little. He's eaten ground beef before and he likes it. He's also eating chicken. So I feel like we're just gonna meet in the middle here. Nice, green peas and carrots. Just put some more vegetables in there, some more veggie pebbles. You know, you can always drip some blueberries on there. They like blueberries, spinach instead of, you know, peas and carrots, but just kind of want to have that nice, healthy bit balance. But my guy's a killer. He's a carnivore, so he's gonna eat a lot of meat. Hold on.